He yeah. gave me, he gave me seventy five hundred dollars. That's still good. Yeah, he gave me seventy. Because in the day, you ain't paid nothing. Yo, he gave me seventy. Even though it's a risk, but you ain't paid shit. I was good. I was good. <laughs> yeah. I was good. I always buy a piece of jewelry. <laughs> piece of jewelry too, man. Because I had a chain on my neck, but I bought another one. I always bought jewelry, man. I had so much jewelry when I was in jail, man. At the crib, man. Yeah. Man. But yo, Jay, I never forget that motherfucker said. It's a tall black guy. Don't worry about that. He's saying stuff. Oh, that's yo, Jay. This is going to be yo, Jay. I had this real tight. This is real tight. Oh, the exit door. The dude said, "Excuse me, bang!" That nigga fell. That nigga fell to the floor, Jay. Jay, my shit was all tight. I know he was out for like two minutes. I know he was out. That nigga dropped like this. He was out. I said, oh shit, I got to find that piece. <laughs> I carried my bag with me too. Yeah. But I remember, I remember one of them office builders, I hit the suit. The suits was costing like $2,000. I got about $80. I'm walking out Fifth Avenue. I said, oh shit. And this dude called me in the store. And I said, damn, this thing might be a cop. That nigga called me like this. I went over there. He said, what you want for them suits right there? And they had the price tag on it. I said, uh, uh, at least, uh, at least I have a price or something like that. He said, I ain't gonna give you a price, but I'll give you, I'll give you a deal with you. I'll give you $700 for each one of them. And I had eight. Yeah. Get, get run that, run that. And he wow. gave me city bits and all that shit. You know, <laughs> yeah. He had store and shit. Yo, Jake, I'm, I'm working out Fifth Avenue. <laughs> the suits like this. <laughs> Yo, that was smooth, man, boy. <laughs> when Jay said, I'm no school jerk. Nah, that's what I'm saying. You talking about you a creeper. I was like, a creeper, Joe Jay. I was a creeper because I've been in a lot of spots. Yeah. You know, when I was in there. Wow. They didn't even have cameras that much like that. Yeah, exactly. They didn't have cameras like that. Now they have cameras in all them buildings. Shit that you ain't thinking they ain't looking at you. Yeah. Yo, even the blind spots that used to be in Rade, some they put the cameras in them aisles where it's like, if you was facing either way, it's going to see you. Cause sometimes they put it on one side and then just face it so people oh. will come. I used to do that shit. I used to take something, act like I'm doing something. You can't see me because I'm facing right. this way. But now they got it where if you turn, the shit would be like right there. Yo, I want you to tell me the story about the rip, the rip, what you going? Okay. First. So I'm going to give you like a little summary <laughs> and then I'm going to go to that story. So it was people in the department I was still in. Yeah. Bunch of us. Yeah. And we used to hang out after work, bring beers and shit. So I work, yeah. I work, I don't know if you're familiar with Long Island City. I worked on Borden yeah, Avenue. I'm familiar with Long Island City. Okay, Borden Avenue. I worked on Borden Avenue uh -huh. by Hunters Point train station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Vernon yeah. Jackson is a little bit up. I know, I know. We used to hang out at the pier that's at Vernon Jackson. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is back like 2000, and I want to say 14, somewhere around oh, that. Was too old. 15, yeah, it was around that time. No, yeah, it's been like six years. Yeah. So 2016, I think, so 2016. Around there, yeah. Okay. So we used to still whatever. Now the Spanish people, they wasn't really still like that. Like the younger ones, some of them, but like the older dudes, they knew we was doing it though, but they wasn't really on telling them none of that shit. And we had a few of them that was cool with us. Like we actually took lunch with them, you know, sad talk with them. And when we working, we used to work like a supermarket. It used to be different totes, and then we skin them, and then put the tote, put the item in the tote, and then put it on the belt, oh, and then they sort it out and shit like that. So I used to have stash spots. I used to put my shit at, like where we used to keep our bags. Sometimes I used to have a bag. I used to put all my products in there and put it at the bottom, and nobody knew except me and probably like a few other people that I took used to tell. So yeah, that particular day though, I had a lot of shit, but they was going for somebody else. One of my homeboys that really get busy. Oh, he was looking for somebody else. Yeah, he in my department though, but he get busy. Like when I'm talking about shit that you wouldn't think to get out the building, he used to take. What? Like I'm talking about like a big ham steak or some shit. Like lobster tails, like what? big lobster tails. He would take a whole thing of them. Yeah, but he used to get it from the freezer department. He used to oh, like, speak to somebody. Shit. He used to get. Yeah, he used to get like big stuff. He used to take it out. So they didn't get him that day. They got me. Cause I went out first or whatever. I had my stuff in my bag. So homeboy like, nah, you gotta take your stuff out. I'm like, nah, you know. 
Trying to get out. <laughs> like, you good? Like, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm good. That was security. Of the yeah, and mind you, we used to call him um, Bubba Sparks. He reminded me of Bubba Sparks. Oh, from uh, He Played in That Movie? He played in that movie? Yeah. The, the rapper Bubba Sparks? Oh, Bubba Sparks. The rapper guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, he, what's the name? He was like, nah, you gotta take your stuff out. I'm like, shit. So, once I started moving my shirt and everything, he seen no live ones. Well, and he was like, yo, you know, what's up? And I was like, you know, my supervisor came out. He was like, yo, what happened? I'm like, nah, you know, I wanted the stuff. You know? Somebody put this in my bag. I put this in my bag. Nah, I ain't even trying to do that. That's crazy. I said some stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bro, I and, it, yo, and it was a couple of people from different departments that was outside. Yeah. Like the meat department, um, yeah, shipping, yeah. whatever, you know, they out there. So I'm like, damn it, looking at me and shit. <laughs> I still waited for my peoples. Oh, and we went shit. to a diner. Yo, that's crazy. I got fired that day, basically. But I went to a diner, and then we talked about it, and I was like, yo. And I, yo, crazy, I had stuff for my people, too. That's the crazy shit. I had stuff for me and my people, yeah. Hey, yo, you mean to tell me when your supervisor came to see what happened just like that? Yeah, like, he and I felt me, bad. He, like, he take you upstairs and said, yo, you knew you <laughs> Nah, he pulled me to the side, he talked to me, and then after that, I wound up um, just leaving. And I think I got the call like that next day. Oh, or you something. just slept? Yeah. Yeah, it was nothing where I, I sat down and he ripped me up. Nah. Yeah. It was like basically I left, and then he called me the next day, I think, and told me I was fired, something like that. I'm like, yo, oh, that's shit. crazy, bro. You knew you was fired. But that, yeah, that was a good amount of stuff I took. I didn't take one night though. Yo, you did. That was at least like. You stole $2,000 of the shit. All together, probably. They lost a lot of money. Dude. And that's just me. Just imagine my people that got busy. They lost a lot of shit. They Yo, I wish we had pictures, man. Like, Yo, you know the stuff they, that people took. Right, you know they do inventory. Yeah. So, you know, they lost a lot of shit behind that shit. Nah, but I heard it, it count as damage, though. Depending on, if, I guess, yeah, if they yeah. do it in the system. But if they don't do it in the system, then it'd probably be something different. Right. Yeah. But yo, listen, if you would've had a good time there, it was fun. Yo, we was, we was mad cool. We used to pick our items, have our conversations. Yo, it was in no way because that, that shit on me. Got, I, mean, I used to do that when yeah. I first when I first started stealing, I used to put it on me. Cause I'm like, you're not checking me. They don't check it. Yeah, they but then it. I'm like, it's too much. Like I used to have shit and yeah, man, shit used to yeah, slide down. Yeah. But I, like I said, I had people that really was getting busy. They had shit wrapped around them. Yo. Like, yo. just imagine, what's, what's a big steak, like a 10 ounce? Cause yeah. they used to have that too, 10 ounce steaks. Wrapped around you, like they used to get like that. Oh. Yeah. And then my homeboy worked the freezer, used to get lobster tails, all that shit. And it's, it's a couple oh, of them that still work man. there. And I hung with them the other day. They, oh, yeah? I think, what was it, like um two, two weeks ago, three weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they cool. <laughs> they older dudes, they in their fifties and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yo, Jay, you crazy, Jay. So, yo, dude, what's this? <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, I was like, there was yeah, a couple of people. Yeah, fucked up because you know, damn, you got me, man. Yeah. I can't get out the situation, you know. Oh shit. I gotta put you on though. So your yeah. boy, your boy right here, he wanna say right? The big I didn't know he was paying attention to what he was saying. So I guess he, he did hear, because when he came back, he was like, yo, I'm not here for that. I'm talking to people and all that. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, so he really heard him then. So, heard who? When, when homeboy was um, talking to him, and when he said basically, oh, he don't know how to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he mentioned that. He was like, yo, I'm not here to be talking and all that. Like, what? what's up with that? Yeah. Yo, when he said that, I'm like, oh shit. Get out of here, he said that yeah. shit. So he He's heard. He's a fucking bird, man. <laughs> He's a fucking bird that you can't even call a bird. You gotta call him a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, when he said it, he said it that time when he walked back over here, and then he said it like when I pound you up and I'm about to leave, and I'm like, yo, you know. He's like, yeah, like, what's going on? Oh, he was, shit. I'm like, oh, so I'm gonna you on that shit then, okay. Yeah, you do what you need to do. That shit made no sense, man. 
<laughs> the lightning just struck his ass. <laughs> he came in all soaking wet, looking like he was going to talk. And the motherfucker went to that shit, calm down. And look, he, he don't start working till the motherfucker, what you call it, four o'clock. He came in all soaking, looking stupid. I was sitting there getting on the train, shit, till that shit calm down. Yo, he was like retarded, man. <laughs> But he can be toilet water. Whoa, Jay. Yo, Jay, that's my boy, man. He can be toilet water on the top. You see how stupid he was looking? Yo. <laughs> and that's where the rain was coming down. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, was, I can see him now walking. <laughs> Yo, he early, man. I don't wait until the rain stopped a little bit. His retarded ass walk, man. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you? Nah, man. Nah, fuck with that clown. He uh, said he heard the dude. He said I ain't here for to talk to him. Yeah, he, he heard my homeboy said that shit. Like, oh, you don't know how to talk. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you he probably heard that too. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him up, man. I'm gonna fuck him up for the next couple of weeks, man. I'm gonna do my little practicing. I'm gonna fuck him up. You gotta practice for nothing. I'm gonna fuck him now. The bell, the bell, I'll attack him. You gotta make sure you get it right. I'm gonna make sure I drop him. For real, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yo, tell me why. I was telling Shorty that. I was like, yo, homeboy gonna wind up putting hands on him, but he gonna know how to talk it out of it. Like, you know, you gonna say your shit. Like, nah, he be harassing, you know, yeah, but the yeah. smoke is with me. I had my pack of cigarettes. He's talking about, oh, nah, give him here. Like, being aggressive with me or something. Yeah. Like, you can say some shit like that. <laughs> and you gonna get out of that shit. Because it's the people that's going about for that. Yeah, yeah. Michael, like, yeah, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't gonna about for you, back. Yeah, so you good. Yo, you corny, man. What's up? <laughs> I'm about to have a seat next week. I'm going to beat him up. I'm going to give my nephew a beat and pack a seat when I go out on Monday. <laughs> he said, give me a pack. Give me 10 Lucy's. Yo, what if you, you don't smoke, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to say that thing. Like, yo, I'm going to give him some cigarettes. And see what he tell me. See what he tell me. Yup. Man, shut the fuck up, stupid. Come on. Oh, man, I know how to fuck hard, man. I'm gonna go hard on him, man. Yo, you ain't just gonna have shit, will you? You ain't no fucking body, just a toy fucking goofy ass cop. Fucking dude, man. Yo, you ain't gonna have shit, will you? Yeah, you probably ain't gonna have no clue, you know, look how stupid you look. You got to look like you never had no clue. You just don't know where I'm gonna do something. I'm disrespecting you. As I told you before, I said, suck my shit, yo. I told him you ain't got that thing. So you, you be tough. Yo, he ain't never had no girl. You can tell he ain't never had no girl. That's stupid, you know. He got the look. He ain't never had no cooey. He still ain't never had no body. He can't even go body. A crack ass bitch won't even give him a you know, you little You might as well join, you might as well join motherfucking Freddy. Get Freddy your shit or something or something, motherfucker. Whoa. That's what Freddy looking for or something that he Attached this shit with your back again. You go, oh man. Yo, Freddy Bunny. Hey, Freddy Bunny. Yeah, man. Holy shit. He ain't been a Freddy and Jamie. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker, man. Yo, what's going on? He didn't look at it until he knew he had a girl. He never had a girl. I'm gonna say that next week, Beyond the Eating Vlog, I'm gonna say. Let's get this dude in here never had no pussy, man. You can look at him and tell him. You can look at some of these shitty motherfuckers in here that never had a girl, man. I'm telling you. He never had no girl. That yeah. motherfucker gonna walk in the rain yesterday, man. <laughs> he come here standing with his stupid feet. <coughs> Give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. You know what the fuck No. I ain't feeling that dude, man. I'm gonna I'm fuck him up. <laughs> I'm knocking out. I still got a little strength in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Right on the chin, he fought. He fought. Bow, little motherfucker. Bow. 
He, he thought that. I was sneaking too bad. Yeah. And I have a coke on me too. <laughs> you gonna see that shit? He ain't gonna come in. Like I said, he might as well get his shit like uh, Freddy. <laughs> and give Freddy his shit. Maybe he's about to have Freddy like, attached to that shit. Damn, bitch, look at him and say, yo, what's this? How your shit is like this? And he said, oh, man, bitch, look at him right there. Whoa. Oh, man, yo, Jay, you over here rolling on me, man. Jay, you over here rolling on me, Jay. Is it rolling, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's the truth. And I'm gonna tell the nigga that the mom said, Yo, Mike, that nigga is going Freddy shit. Freddy is going all this shit. Because, Mike, look, you know what I'm saying? But he said, Borrow? Yeah, I'm saying, Freddy need to borrow that shit. Oh, Freddy need to keep it. Look, Freddy already said he cut his own shit out and all that shit. Cut his shit out. I knock him out and give me a thousand dollars, Freddy. Give me a thousand dollars, I knock him out and give me a thousand shit on. You come down here one night at 11 o'clock. That son, he ain't seen nothing, son, chill. I knock him out, he knocked out. All you gotta do is take a shit and cut it off for about 15 minutes. Word. Next Saturday night about 9 o'clock, you be getting Joe, you be back in business, Freddy. You be back in business, you gotta use your tongue. Shit. You just saw that shit on Fishy Freddy. <laughs> You gonna do that shit yourself. Yo, Freddy, did you show that shit on? Oh, I'm gonna start breaking that nigga out. I'm gonna start getting him to say, yo, Freddy, what you doing if you don't wanna give me some shit you wanna do? Your tongue don't beat you, man. What the fuck you wanna do? Yeah. Baby, she can do that herself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Chris, look, it's embarrassing. He's telling people that shit, though, man. I'm telling you, he told Shorty in there. Yeah, he told Shorty in there. Out of all people, no one ever at recreation. Yeah, the girl, mm. he told her, he's a dog bird too. What? Because I told you, he was saying it, and then he mentioned, like you heard him, he was like, oh, I had to cut this. So when he said he had to cut, I'm like, I know he ain't talking about his leg, but he had to yeah. talk about that. Yo, yo. I'm like, what kind of shit going on in here? You told the wrong person. Yo, <laughs> I mean, he told us one day, he said, yo, I can cut the rest of my shit out, man. I said, I don't want to hear that. Man. I don't want to hear that. Mine ain't getting cut off. Exactly. I'm going to tell people if that, that shit happened to me. Yeah, I ain't cutting shit. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Mike, my man, everything I fuck with Mike, man, on certain extent, but. How can Mike be a bitch, man? Hmm? How can he fuck somebody? <laughs> Yo, you stupid. Like, for real. Nah, yeah, if you really put it, yeah. Because look, he be on his back like a turtle. Can't even move. <laughs> you know how a turtle be on his back and can't turn over? Yeah. Except Mike did. Mike had me so mad one day, he grabbed his chair. I said, I'll throw you out this motherfucker. I'll flip this shit over on you, man. He was scared to death. Wait, this this is recently? Huh? This recently? This is about five months ago. Or oh, around when I first started. I yeah, yo, listen. Yeah. I took that chair, right this chair, right around there. I said, I'll throw you up this He was sweating so he was scared to death. How y'all became cool after that shit? Yeah, because look, he telling people I fucking been this man. Wait, what was what which what you yeah, um He was telling he told to he was to bring us he was this man. He was telling a lot of girls say, Yo, you been playing like that? Man, so oh yeah, he told me, yeah. yeah man. Yo, he bugging out. Yeah, he bugging out, man. They stopped my shit with that shit. That's why I really, man, they had to wait for about a month or so to get it back on. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. That's the only problem you got. Like, if he do something for you, he gonna tell people. Yeah. He be getting me mad now because he. He be slipping, man. He don't see. He don't see. Like the other day, he stopped the kid to get him some beer. Oh, God, the other girl looking right at him. She said, "I know what time it is." Bugging out. Yeah, he bugging out. And then if they do do something, you gonna say, "Yo, oh, yeah, my man did that for me." 
One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Yo, oh, man. Right, man. That's what that girl told me. She was running him out. She yeah. whipped his ass that day. She punched that nigga in his head, snatched his chain, and broke it. He's sitting in the chair looking stupid. Man, I, you got straight to the other hand. She's sitting in the chair. But she could get a move. But I don't give a fuck. I'd punch that bitch to the mark. Word. Yo, that bitch punched my head in his head like three times. My head do shit. And then she snatched the chain and broke it through the ground. She tucked it. She actually tucked it. Man. She said, hey, what you gonna do? You gonna tell them in the stretch today? You gonna believe me? <laughs> yeah. I already stashed that shit. And then she said, yeah, hey, take this bitch ass chain. She threw it at shit that she broke. I said, man, this pussy, man. He let that bitch do that shit, too. He bugging, man. I hooked that bitch up. Yo, man, in a Saturday night, just like down here, like this, like, at, like, 10 o'clock. Yeah. She was sitting there. I mean, Mike was sitting there. She said, motherfucker, you think I'm stupid? You keep talking to the other girl, talking about you, and I feel like you didn't want to talk to me. Motherfucker, you can't do nothing for me, but use your fucking tongue. You only got a half a tongue, you bitch-ass motherfucker. Mike started mumbling, that bitch said, bah! <laughs> and then he backed up, she went behind, she stood up, and I was around the wall. She was about 55 years old, like that slinky ass bitch and shit. She punched, she punched <laughs> so Mike, Mike started mumbling. Yo, she punched Mike in two times, back, and snatched this chain, and tuck it. Mike sitting there looking stupid, like, and she, was, and she decided not to give him his chain back, she could have kept it. Yeah, exactly. He ain't gonna do nothing. You crazy as hell. Yo. Cause look, every time she came down the smoke, everywhere she went, I was behind, touching up, feeling my hand, <laughs> shit. She broke that shit up. I'm about to say he loved feeling some man. Yo, that shit was crazy. That bitch whooped my ass, man. And she said, "I'm throwing you out the chair too, motherfucker." <laughs> Yo, Yo Mike, wow. She took my chain, and she was, if she really wanted to be dirty, she could have just took that shit in the pocket and said, I ain't got this chain. Y'all ain't searching me because I ain't got this chain. I threw that shit over the fence. Yeah. <laughs>